he takes off. He's going for second. He slides. Save! <laughs> you know I wouldn't have it any other way. How's it going, everybody? We are in a um, education building. Yeah, it's called the Educatorium. Educatorium, that's right. It's kind of like our student center. Yeah. It's a pretty cool place. As you can see, the uh, the big curvature architecture thing behind us is what we were sliding on. Super fun. Um, yeah, this week we're going to be talking about the Dom Tower. Um, we went and climbed that. I'm going to talk about my um, my incident in uh, close close to death experience um, one one fr Friday night, right? Friday night. Um, we'll talk about Brian's loss. Um, that will be close to come. It's, it's a sad topic. Um, and then we're going to talk about some travel plans we have for the future. So, do you want to start with the Dom Tower? Yeah. So the Dom Tower is the most recognizable thing in Utrecht. It's what it's famous for. It's the tallest tower in the Netherlands. Um, it's basically like a really old church. Uh, I don't remember exactly when it was built. 1800s, I think? Yeah, it was built a long time ago. Uh, it took like 60 something years to build, I think. Um, but they give tours of it, and you can go up with like a guide where uh, he actually speaks in English so you understand certain things that he talks about. Um, but you, <laughs> the coolest part of it all is you have to go up by steps, and it's just like the narrowest little, uh, little steps. Um, quite the workout. I think it's 400 and 460 something steps, yeah, all the way up to the top. Steps. So, uh, so your calves were definitely burning by the time you got up there. Oh yeah. Um, but then it, it just gave us like the coolest view of the whole city um, and how the whole, I guess how the whole city was laid out. And, um, it was really cool. It was like looking at it from like a bird's eye view. So it was really fun. We went up there with a couple of friends from our gender class. Um, so it was fun just to hang out with them. And, yeah, experience that. I feel like if you come to Utrecht, it's like kind of a thing you have to do. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's what it's most known for. Yeah, definitely an attraction. But uh, and then we didn't. Uh, it's been kind of like a slow past couple weeks or week and a half. Um, hasn't been anything like really exciting going on. School's getting a little bit busier since our like first couple classes are winding down. So we have to uh, do a little bit more work for them. Um, but we. Went to, this past weekend we went to a bar, we would call it a bar, they call it a cafe, Cafe Belgium, I think it's called. Yeah. Um, it's one of the more famous ones here because it has like over 150 different types of beers, oh, yeah. which was really fun. Um, just got to sit and uh, talk and try some new beer and it was good. We found a new favorite. Se uh, Celis White. Celis White, yeah. It was really good. <laughs> Some good stuff over here. But we had a we had a little bit of a scary moment on the way back. I'll let Eric tell you. So about. my um, my near death experience. Um, <laughs> I was walking back right, and I, I only had two drinks. Okay, so nowhere near anywhere where I'd be out of it. What was that? I forgot you could see me on the screen. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, so we're walking back to the bus station. Right, gotta catch the bus. And um, there, there's a certain spot on next to the curb. There's a white area where you should stand, either there or closer away from the road. I happen to be standing even closer to the curb. Literally, I was probably literally walking on the curb, and all of a sudden I hear a like a boom. And not only heard it, <laughs> I not only heard it, I felt it because I thought someone hit me in the back of the head. And I said, okay, that felt like a huge piece of plastic. That couldn't have been like someone's fist or something, like riding by on a bike. And after falling over a little bit, I, I look up and I got hit by the bus. <laughs> I was hit by a bus. It sounded like, because the, the mirrors on the bus are plastic and it sounded like a wiffle ball bat. <laughs> yeah. That you, like when you use like a tennis ball or a baseball that's like just too heavy for the plastic wiffle ball bat. And it's just that really loud like, Boom! Like a loud pop. Super hollow. That's what it sounded like when it hit Eric's head. 
and we can laugh about it now because he didn't get hurt. But yeah, all night I was making sure, like, hey, what's what's two plus two and like yeah. different things like that. The next morning I was like, okay, it's 2013. My mom's <laughs> name is this. My dad's name is that. Okay, we're good. I know. Okay, awesome. <laughs> but uh, so that was definitely a memory. Didn't exactly uh, come to Europe to get hit by a bus, but no. it, it happened and uh, it survived. <laughs> when you're not paying attention, you get hit by a bus. So, uh, and then I had a little bit of an unfortunate circumstance. Um, I guess it was the next weekend. It was next Friday. We uh, we have, so we have bike show. Everybody rides their bikes everywhere, we already told you. Of course, the ignorant American, I was like, oh, it'll never happen. No way. And, uh, and so I went downstairs. We have a personal bike shed for our dorm that we live yeah, in. Yeah, it's even like locked in. You have to get into it. You have to have a key. Uh, so I went in that. And then inside that, there's even like different sections for like the rooms that you live in. So only like, I think only like three or four floors can get into our little personal section. Yeah. So I, we always parked in there. Eric and I, neither of us ever lock our bike inside that thing because we figure if somebody's going in there, they don't. They don't need a bike, you know. They already have a bike. But, um, but. but I went down on Friday night as we we're getting ready to go out uh, to find no bike down there. So it's really disappointing. Uh, I kind of formed like, like an emotional bond to my mom. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, you use them like every time. single day. Yeah, uh, every day. Really got used to her. But unfortunately, it's gone. It never showed up. I went to the offices and asked to see the security footage, and they were like, privacy rules, you can't see it. And even if you could see it, you couldn't do anything about it. So I'm like, what the heck are the security cameras for then? But, are you just to scare uh, people? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, so I learned my lesson the hard way. I guess it's kind of one of those things that almost every Dutch person experiences at some, some point in their life. So I feel a little bit more Dutch after, I guess. And I've got a new bike, so yep. we're rolling again. <laughs> rolling on uh, but yeah that's been like that's been the highlight of our past couple of weeks we haven't really done too much yeah we're making plans though we are yeah. you want to tell them about what we're going to do i guess yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah so we've been uh making a lot of plans um, i don't know if we've already told you but we're going to paris for easter very excited uh, meeting up with dave reed um, up in paris it's gonna be an amazing time hopefully we visit a cathedral on easter Something like that. Um, the Louvre, Eiffel Tower. Louvre. Wine and cheese. Wine and bread. cheese. Croissants in the morning. Baguettes in the afternoon. Baguettes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's going to be great. Um, and then we booked our hostel and our bus ticket to Berlin for a spring break. We're also trying to schedule a, a trip to go visit Dave up in London uh, for a weekend. So got to gotta hit that scene as well. All sorts of places. Looking forward to it. Hopefully we'll have to like we'll have to do like a vlog in each different place that we go just to try to give everybody a taste for what all the different yeah. cities are like. Yeah, it'll be really fun. Forward to it. Let's see. Yeah. It's spring break over there, I think. Oh. It's Friday, right? Yeah, it's it like, it's it's like eighty degrees. It's eighty freaking degrees. You can't see it right now, but it is like thirty five and snowing. And snowing slash sleeting, so <laughs> <laughs> Terrible <laughs> but that's okay. We're gonna keep a smile on our face and yeah. uh, be happy that we're here, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, safe, safe travels to everyone who's going to the beach. Hope you have a blast. Soak up the sun for me. Someone's got to soak it up. Um, I guess we'll uh, yeah see you next week. Hopefully, we'll try to do it more regularly. Um, yeah, we should have a little bit more exciting things going on soon. But mm -hmm. look forward to talking to you all. Yeah. See y'all soon.